One campaigner has called it a watershed moment in the way banks treat their customers. Today, those banks accepted they would have to pay back billions of pounds in payment protection insurance that they sold to customers who didn't want it, didn't need it, and didn't even know they were paying for it. Our consumer editor, Chris Choi, reports. A million claims have already poured in. Customers were covered for loan repayments during illness or unemployment, but many didn't need it or could never have claimed. This is a financial services insider who has spent the last year investigating industry documents. People don't actually apply for PPI. So here's the example. The gentleman said, no, I don't want PPI. PPI has been charged. Despite him ticking the box saying he didn't want this kind of insurance, he was still somehow sold it. He was still sold it, he was still charged it, and we've tried to claim it back, and the, the bank is still arguing that, that really they should charge it. Have you taken out a loan in the past six years? This payment protection scandal spawned an entire compensation industry, expected to top both endowment and pension mis-selling. Insiders say earnings incentives were largely to blame. On a £10,000 loan, they'll immediately earn a commission of £1,800. If they're just taking the margin on the loan, it's, it's so much less. There's massive incentives to not only the bank to earn this money, but also the staff to sign up this money. We rang requesting interviews from the four main banks on this huge mis-selling scandal. Each chose to leave our interview hot seat empty. Lloyds, Barclays, HSBC and the Royal Bank of Scotland all stayed away. They referred us to the British Banking Association, but they too opted not to appear. The epic scale of all this is revealed in the vast sums banks have already put aside for possible compensation. Here at Lloyd's, £3.2 billion. At Barclays, a billion. At HSBC, £270 million. But there will be delays in customers getting their hands on this cash. What we now need, of course, is for the banks to get on with handing out this compensation. Do you think they're actually ready to do that? It's not going to happen overnight. People shouldn't expect a cheque next week, but hopefully in the next couple of months, um, firms will start getting back to customers who have already complained and start dealing with new complaints. It's thought the banking industry will pay between seven and nine billion pounds. Average compensation is 2,750 pounds per customer. But if we're ever going to get over the stigma that has been left by the, Europe, by the banking crisis, it is important that the banks step up to the plate, don't complain and pay up. But banks are just the start. From car dealers to credit card firms, payment protection insurance was rife. Tonight, they're all embroiled in Britain's biggest mis-selling scandal. Chris Choi, ITV News.